Hello guys, it's been a while since I made my last video and my cat keeps getting in the way. Say hello to the camera, Jem Jams. Say hello. Meow. Meow. <laughs> so I've been still waiting for my next surgery, which was supposed to be happening last Friday, but they called me up two days after, before saying that um, both my surgeons need to talk to each other because I've got a different surgeon in Eastman Dental Hospital and a surgeon in Moorfields and so they both spoke to each other and they both agreed to do an operation on me at the same time so two operations in one um, so yeah now I have to wait to see when the operation is going to be since it's like one surgeon in each hospital it's going to be quite might be quite long, I'm not sure, but hopefully it'll be short on the waiting list and hopefully it'll get done really quickly. Uh, what they're doing is they're sorting the, the eyelid out and they're doing something with my cheek as well, so hopefully they only don't do anything with my implant or they don't cut my head open like they did before and hopefully um, it will go fine because this is the operation that will end everything and I shouldn't have to have any more after this. So yeah, I'm worried about what they're going to do because I'm still not sure and I'm still waiting for a date so yeah I'm just waiting for that really and uh, just trying to pass time and be happy in the meantime that's all I can do health wise has been getting worse lately I've been feeling uh, ill more often and I try to blank it out and you know, keep my mind on other things but it's, it's really hard to do uh, it's been happening quite frequently um, I, I think I told you this before but let's say like, what happens when I get this like, ill in this phase I start getting you know, pins and needles and shaky, get really cold and start having coughing fits and uh, yeah so that's been happening a lot more recently um, so yeah I don't know what's causing it, the doctors don't know what's causing it and I'm still got to try and find out. So I completely gave up with that girl that stood me up and uh, now I'm still looking so uh, back in the market again and yeah so I'm not really interested in finding someone at the moment, I just, like, I'm more, I'd rather you know beat my health issues in the way I'd rather get myself sorted out first before I get into anything serious so uh, yeah I think that's the best decision to do really I don't need any more worries in my life at the moment so I actually went to the doctors today because I found a lump in the back of my well in the back of my back uh, at the bottom of my back and this lump was here it came here before as well um, I think the lump started coming ever since I had the spinal fluid taken out in February when I had meningitis. Um, I'm not sure what's happening so far. I mean, the doctor told me to that it could be um, tissue, scar tissue swelling or something that randomly comes up all the time and goes down. Like it was, uh, it was a big lump last night and then this morning it was gone pretty much. So um, she want me, wants me to get an ultrasound done. So I've got to go, well, I've got to wait for an ultrasound and got to see what's actually happening down there. Because uh, every time I find a lump, I just freak out because, you know, what lumps normally mean. So I normally just get one health problem after another, it's like once a month for me. But <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite funny, actually. Um, instead of moaning about it, I just uh, get on with it. Like I always done, like I always have done. So, yeah, hopefully everything will be fine. They normally are, and uh, I normally get through it, so... Yeah, whatever happens, happens. So all I've got to do now is just wait for my surgery and I get a random phone call one day soon saying, um, can you come in and have the surgery done? And I've no long had no idea how long I'm going to be in there for. But I'm looking to the future and the stuff that's going to happen like in a couple of months. It's actually only two more months now until, this two, until I see the Legend of Zelda Orchestra. So I really, really can't wait for that. I've been listening to the tracks all day actually. I can't start listening to the music on my phone. So uh, I've got that to look forward to, and I've got my baby, my nephew or niece being born next month. Time's gone so fast this year, it's unbelievable. Um, it's actually May already, and it's nearly halfway of May. It's mad. So here's a bit of a geeky question to end the video with. Who do you think killed Lucy Bill? I know I'm an extended geek, but I seem to think it's Nick Cotton. And either him or Ben. Or the new Market Expected guy. I reckon it might be him as well. So that's it for the videos guys, I hope you have a great week, I hope you had a great week so far and I uh, will speak to you soon and let you know of any updates, so uh, take care guys.